Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shedding light on the problems appertaining to not monetizing your addictions. So why is it deemed to be problematic and calamitous to not monetize your addictions? Why would it behoove you to monetize your addictions? Well, lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my distress, much of my grief, and much of my agony, it is problematic to not monetize your addictions for a multitude of reasons. When you do not monetize your addictions, you forgo the opportunity to generate revenue. You also forgo the opportunity to elicit multiple recurring revenue streams. And you also forgo the opportunity to have an uncapped, unlimited, unfettered earnings potential. You never want to relinquish your sacrosanct, indispensable, finite, non-replenishable, invaluable time for a pittance of a non-subsistence wage. You never want to grovel at an employer's feet. You never want to borrow equity out of your time, life, happiness, health, dignity, and future wealth just for a pittance of a non-subsistence wage that just provides you with a modicum of perishable, fleeting, ephemeral, short-lived, short-term relief. You never want to be dependent on an employer for a penny. You never want your earnings potential to be tethered to your time. You want your earnings potential to be uncapped, unfettered, scalable, and limitless. Your earnings potential cannot be scaled if you're relinquishing, if you're forfeiting your sacrosanct, indispensable, finite, non-replenishable, precious time for a pittance of a non-subsistence wage imposed by an employer who does not give an iota about your well-being. So, when you desist, when you abstain, when you refrain from monetizing your addictions, it redounds to your disadvantage. It also calmly in you having less purview over your time because your time is controlled by an employer when you are dependent on them for revenue and when your addictions are not monetized. And, of course, it renders you more susceptible, more vulnerable, more prone to succumb to chronic stress, chronic burnout, and chronic fatigue. When you work for an employer, it does not provide you with a modicum of revenue on the back end. It does not allow you to generate recurring revenue, nor does it allow you to have the latent potential to generate revenue 24-7. You want all your revenue streams to be on autopilot. The only way to get out of poverty is to have your recurring revenue streams as an aggregate, offset your recurring expenses. There's no other way to get out of poverty. With an employee job, it just provides a pittance of a non-subsistence wage, which is perishable, short-term, ephemeral, short-lived, short-term relief on the front end and lamentably provides absolutely nothing on the back end. There's no pension. There's no benefits. There's no income generating and assets that are furnished to you by an employer. You want to be able to have all your revenue streams on autopilot. You can buy investment securities if you can afford to do so. But if you cannot afford to do so, you want to be able to profuse, you want to be able to profusely produce monetizable intellectual properties that have the latent potential to generate revenue 24/7 that could even furnish you with revenue past your lifetime. You want to be so productive that even if you become deceased, even if you become a decedent or a cadaver, 
your intellectual property, so still have the latent potential to generate revenue for centuries to come and beyond in perpetuity. So, when you do not monetize your addictions, it's truly not only a disservice to yourself, but it's a disservice to others because there's so much unprecedented value that you could furnish to your target market. Your target market is eager to watch content appertaining to your addictions. If you produce videos, archivable live stream broadcasts, podcast episodes, audiobooks, songs, courses, blogs, customizable templates, custom-made print-on-demand merchandise, and mobile applications appertaining to your addictions, there is so much value that you could provide in the line of work that allows you to enrich other people's lives. People yearn to watch more riveting, enthralling, mesmerizing, compelling, captivating, engrossing content. People yearn to procure more products that are deemed to be worthwhile, that are deemed to be meritorious, and that are able to assuage their unmet needs. So, if you're not monetizing your addictions, you're not fully actualizing your latent potential. In life, you want to be able to actualize your latent potential, manifest the quintessential version of yourself into reality, reach your overarching goals, reach your higher aspirations, and bring your lofty, ambitious, overarching, grandiose visions into fruition. You do not want to shirk on doing so. You want to be able to thrust your life into a forward movement trajectory. You never want to regress nor stagnate. You never want to be encumbered nor impeded nor obstructed, nor stymied, nor stifled. We want to be able to make inroads towards success each and every day. So, you're more likely to succumb to stagnation, or even more apt to succumb to regressing if you do not monetize your addictions. When you do not monetize your addictions, you're not generating revenue when you're engaging in addictive activities and um, it dispossesses you of your time it siphons you out of your time and it eviscerates you of your time and it does not provide you with any revenue in the future which is problematic because you should be prudently surely strategically allocating your time. You should not hemorrhage your time. You should not fritter away your time. You should not squander your time. You should be earmarking your time into pursuing revenue generating activities. And that can entail producing monetizable intellectual properties appertaining to your addictions, which for most people, such as entrepreneurial content creators, is content appertaining to their addictions. You should be an entrepreneurial content creator a creative, an inventor, an innovator, a forward-thinking maverick, and a pioneer of your own destiny. Do not allow your latent potential to be undermined nor squandered. Actualize your latent potential. Live life to its fullest. If you forgo monetizing your addictions, you're going to be less apt, less poised, less primed to attain extreme fame leverage and subsequently attain extreme wealth. The bottom line is an employer is reticent about paying their employees anywhere close to even one-fourth of a subsistence wage. The profits are reserved for the shareholders, executives, and of course the CEO. The interests of a employee and employer are diametrically opposed to one another. The 
employee wants to be able to receive the maximum amount of revenue for the minimum amount of time worked, whereas a employer wants to be able to pay the employee the absolute minimum amount of revenue for the absolute maximum amount of time worked. In an employer market, employees begrudgingly acquiesce to working real private sector jobs based on voluntary demand. And these types of employee jobs are often deemed to be harrowing, agonizing, dead-end, dispiriting, unfulfilling, debilitating, really wretched, ineffably agonizing jobs that are not only minimum wage jobs, but that also pay employees at most an infinitesimal non-subsistence wage, which fries no semblance of a basis for having a prosperous, auspicious, abundant, blissful future. You want to be able to manifest a blissful, prosperous, abundant auspicious future for yourself into reality and be a pioneer of your own destiny. So if you're not monetizing your addictions, you're needlessly squandering your time, and you're going to be more prone, more susceptible, more vulnerable to being tethered to an employer for a lifetime, which can result in your revenue being tethered to your time as well as your earnings potential being capped. And it also causes you to not actualize your latent potential because if you're not working as an entrepreneurial content creator, you're not only forgoing the opportunity to provide unprecedented value to your target market, but you're also doing a disservice to the world because your target market is in need of more content and products. So be a benefactor to your target market. You can profusely produce content appertaining to your addictions. And if you desire to do so, if you are ambitious enough, you can also produce product offerings appertaining to your addictions. You can assuage your target market's unmet needs if you so choose to do so. And you have a latent potential to triumph, prosper, and flourish. You want to become a dominant market competitor in the niche user-generated content markets and in the niche product markets that you compete in. When you are vying for market share, make sure that you produce content and products that is apt to build substantial traction and transcend into attaining viral status. If you have viral content and tenemous viral products, the results, the outcomes, can be life-altering, especially since attaining extreme fame. Leverage is a precursor for attaining extreme wealth. If your target market enables an advertising blocker, if they circumvent the advertisements, if you have hundreds of millions of followers that are a part of a brand's target market, brands will pay you a steep, staggering, hefty, exorbitant premium price to buy product placements from you because they know that when their product placements are featured in your videos the product placements can potentially be seen by hundreds of millions of your followers if your videos populate in the subscription feeds of your followers. Brands want to be able to take the paths of least resistance and be guaranteed to reach out to their target markets. And they could do so by buying 
product placements from influencers who have enormous followings that are also part of the brand's target market. So it's really a disservice to yourself and to the world to not monetize your addictions. The world wants to revel in watching compelling content appertaining to your addictions and they want to procure meritorious products appertaining to your addictions. Live up to your latent potential. Actualize your latent potential and become all you can be. Ascend to the next level. Thrust your life into a forward moving trajectory. And manifest the quintessential version of yourself into reality. Become the optimal version of yourself. So, when you do not monetize your addictions, it is lamentably not only woeful, but problematic in multiple facets. It's a disservice to yourself and to the world. And it causes you to live a more banal, monotonous, repetitious life in which your time is controlled by an employer. And it also culminates in you living a life in which your earnings potential is capped by an employer and your revenue is tethered to your time. You want to have an, you want to have an unlimited, unfettered, uncapped earnings potential. And you want to have a latent potential to generate revenue 24-7. And you want to have a multitude of recurring revenue streams. And you want to have your revenue streams on autopilot. And you, know, you, do, you do not want your earnings potential to be capped by an infinitesimal, measly, non-subsistence wage imposed by an employer who does not give an iota about your well-being in any facet. I hope that you found this video to be intriguing and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.